What is going on, Pats Nation? You guys already know who it is. Patriots Global here back with another video. And in this one, the New England Patriots have officially made another signing here to the offense in wide receiver Little Jordan Humphrey, or I should say Lil Jordan Humphrey. And it's actually really funny because I kind of called this a couple of years ago, like called it but didn't call it uh, when I made a video saying how the New England Patriots need to draft Lil Jordan Humphrey in the 2019 NFL draft. Obviously, they didn't do so, but still very ironic how, you know, a couple of years ago heading into that draft, I was saying, hey, this is a guy the Patriots need to go after. Ultimately, they didn't. The Saints draft him. But now, a couple of years later, the Patriots are signing him in free agency. Now, Lil Jordan Humphrey is also still very, very young, despite being a part of that 2019 draft. He's only 24 years old, and he surprisingly entered the league as an undrafted free agent back in 2019. He was a projected third to fourth round pick, so the fact that he went undrafted was one of the biggest surprises in the entirety of that draft. Now, he really hasn't done too much since joining the NFL coming out of the University of Texas. Since then, he has appeared in 18 games, including six starts to catch 16 passes for 295 yards and three touchdowns. But I mean, at the same time, he was a UDFA. So the fact that you're even getting that production out of a UDFA is still very good considering the Patriots haven't gotten much more production from a first round pick in Nikhil Harry. Now, little Jordan Humphrey's career with the New Orleans Saints has been a little bit up and down. He didn't get, you know, or I should say signed, not drafted, but picked up as a UDFA following that 2019 draft and just right away made the final roster. His time with the Saints was really split between the active roster and the practice squad. Something that if he doesn't make this initial roster with the Patriots, I could definitely see New England doing, keeping him on that practice squad and using him uh, throughout the elevations each week. But before the start of the 2021 season, he signed a futures contract with the Saints. Now he's six foot four, 225 pounds, something that I absolutely love about him. This guy is a huge, 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 huge target for whatever quarterback is throwing to him. Um, but for that 2021 season, he went on to set a career high in 13 receptions for 249 yards and a couple of touchdowns there. An area that I really, really like about Lil Jordan Humphrey is his catch radius. Now, obviously, with that being said, he's a big target. Like I said, six foot four, 225 pounds, but his catch radius is unbelievable. He had one of the highest production rates for... Passes going his way that were not on target heading into that 2019 draft that actually was ranked just behind DK Metcalf. He also has really good yards per reception. Like I mentioned, this past year was a career high for him, putting up 249 yards on just 13 receptions, being targeted 18 times. He had 19.2 yards per reception. In 2020, when he was targeted five times with three receptions for 46 yards, he was averaging about 15.3 yards per reception. Lil Jordan Humphrey is a guy who could fit perfectly into this potential new offensive scheme for the Patriots, which really looks like they want to push the ball down the field a lot more. They want to get more splash plays. Mac Jones is working on that deep ball. It seems like we're not going to see a whole lot of this short to intermediate route, little subtle dump offs to your running backs out of the backfield. We're still going to see that, don't get me wrong, but it looks like this Patriots offense and Mac Jones really wants to take that step forward into utilizing these deep threats. Now, real quick, I do want to give a shout out to the sponsors of this video, BetOnline.ag. Guys, our partners over at BetOnline continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. You guys can find all the latest odds, news, and sports developments, including this year's NBA Finals, the NHL Hockey Conference Finals, Major League Baseball scores, the latest fighting news, and 
even next season's early NFL futures. Guys, BetOnline is your continued source for all your sports wagering information from live betting to playoffs, esports, and even more. All you guys have to do is head to the website or even use your mobile device to sign up today using your 50% off bonus code with the promo code CLNS50 to get that bonus and get into the action. Again, BetOnline, where the game starts. Now, this past year, he had a total of 216 snaps on offense, while he had a total of 45 snaps on special teams. You know that Bill Belichick is really looking to revamp the special teams. You know, he's really looking to find the next future of this New England Patriots special teams, especially when it comes to kick returner and punt returner. The Patriots don't have that guy. That guy was Gunnar Olszewski. And they just don't have that guy anymore. They're going to be trying several different guys there. And I fully expect Lil Jordan Humphrey to be a guy that gets looks as a returner. Now, Lil Jordan Humphrey is also going to give the Patriots another perimeter guy, which is something that they really need. You know, they have a lot of these guys that can play within the slot, but they don't have a lot of true outside guys, big outside guys that they can rely on. They did go ahead and they did trade for... Devontae Parker, which is definitely going to give them an X receiver. They're going to give or it's going to give them a perimeter guy on the outside, but you can't exactly rely on Devontae Parker's health. And nonetheless, you still need another outside guy whose name is not Devontae Parker. And little Jordan Humphrey can definitely give the Patriots that. Now, he is pretty fast for his size. You know, when you're looking at six foot four, 225 pounds, you're expecting a guy who's likely going to run you know, a, a early 4.5 to a mid 4.5. Lil Jordan Humphrey ran pretty decent, though. He ran a 4.47 40-yard dash. To put that into comparison with somebody like Nikhil Harry, who is six foot four, 200 pounds, who, again, N- Nikhil Harry is lighter than Lil Jordan Humphrey, and he still ran slower. Nikhil Harry ran a 4.57 40-yard dash, again, while Lil Jordan Humphrey ran a 4.47. Another stat that I really like about Lil Jordan Humphrey that I'm going to continue to preach is the fact that throughout his NFL career in 2019, 2020, 2021, he has had zero drops. And look, I'm not going to say that he's been a 1,000-yard receiver or he's been targeted 80, 90 times a season, but the fact that he's been targeted 24 times throughout his career so far and has had zero drops just goes to show the type of receiver that Lil Jordan Humphrey is. He's going to be a shorthanded receiver, a guy you can count on, and he's kind of going to bring a Devontae Parker-esque type of role. I wouldn't say as dynamic as a Devontae Parker at all, but he's still going to bring a guy that you can trust to throw it up there in a time of need and have the ability to come down with it. Mac Jones doesn't have to throw a perfect, accurate ball every single time when targeting Lil Jordan Humphrey due to the catch radius that he has. Now, I'm not going to act like this signing is going to be a guaranteed roster lock for Lil Jordan Humphrey. I'm not going to say that it's going to make the world of difference, but I really like the addition, especially heading into training camp in just a couple of weeks. It's going to give the Patriots a body on special teams. It's going to give the Patriots a body um, at wide receiver, more specifically perimeter wide receiver, a big body for Mac Jones, kind of someone who can play that X receiver. And really, it just continues to add to the depth chart you have at wide receiver. I think the Patriots have like 10 wide receivers now at this point. I mean, Devontae Parker, Nelson Aguilar, Ty Montgomery, Malcolm Perry, Jacoby Myers, Tyquan Thornton, Trey Nixon, Matthew Slater, technically considered a wide receiver, but you know he's not going to be a wide receiver. Kendrick Bourne, Nikhil Harry, Christian Wilkerson, not to mention the tight ends and the running backs that you have that are also going to contribute in the passing game, but now also Lil Jordan Humphrey. What are your guys' thoughts on the signing, though? Really excited to hear your thoughts on this, so let me know in the comment section below. Remember to leave a big like on this video, and of course, subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. But like always, I do appreciate you guys for watching, and go Pats!